Nerds will inherit the copier world. Oh yeah, they certainly will. I do believe that the nerds will inherit the copier world. They will. <laughs> the way it's going. The photocopier industry is full of profiteering money fuckers. And, well, basically you can't be... You can't be a money fucker without being prompt... Without being profiteering. So money fucker is probably the best term for these kind of assholes that rule our world with their f money fucking attitude. Now, what are we doing? Fuck... So I'm wondering if 300's big enough. I think we're going to make this one. 370. And 370. Whoops, we don't want 37. Come on. Okay, now this one's going to be interesting, this one. I've never seen any anything quite like it. So now we're just going to make this look good. I wonder how we're going to make it look. Uh, going to make, oh, yeah, that's right, text enhance, that's okay. I thought we pressed the wrong button with this stupid, clumsy user interface that Konica Minolta has made. So we're going yellow as our background colour, the happy colour. So we're going to make this one look really interesting. <laughs> it's an interesting specimen that we've got. We're just going to make it slightly, going to make it colder, a bit cooler. Oh, I did have a lot of caffeine today, so I felt a bit buzzy earlier on, a little bit sickly. Oh, man, I drink too much of that shit sometimes. I did have a can of energy drink, which tipped it over a bit. Oh, fuck, it was terrible. Felt sickly. I've got to be careful. <laughs> anyway, enough about that. Let's see what we've got. I found it on the ground. I've never seen anything in shops quite like it. Tropical flavoured Eclipse. This is the first time I've seen this yellow packet of Eclipse. But it's an interesting specimen. I thought I'd pick it up, give it a bit of a wipe down with a bit of water to get the, du the dust off it. And now we're just going to use it. Hey presto, surprise, surprise not, in a demo. <laughs> Man, it's amazing what gets into my demo sets. <laughs> With my what I do, I love my playing around with this silly photocopier. It's funny. <laughs> okay, whoa, we lost most of it. We didn't get a good shot of it, but the color looks nice and the yellow looks nice as well. So we're just going to put that aside and try another take on it. So we're just going to play with the buttons. So I don't want to lose my settings. We're going to just put it up this way. We're going to put our clips up there and we're going to shuffle it around. Spin it around. Okay, let's see how that goes. I've never seen the uh, tropical eclipse before, which is really interesting. It's nice to see that they're out there, but again, we fucked it up. We kept getting just the top of it or something. We're not getting a very good uh, result for this. So we're just going to do some... Shit, I just can't seem to get it to work the way I want it to. We're going to start it off like this for a change. It's usually more... It's usually, I usually have this kind of difficulty when I'm doing uh, objects at 400% because 400 is a much bigger size than 3 set loss. It's actually not much difference. But anyway, we've got part of it in. Still doesn't look terribly spectacular though. Uh, I don't seem to be doing this really well. I'm not giving this product as much justice as I'd like to. Let's see how we go. Let's try that again. I don't know why I'm having trouble trying to get this to look good. It's nearly 400%, so I guess that accounts for something. Just trying to see if maybe we're just catching the end of it there. So I'm wondering if we're just going to print it. Oh, fuck. No, I didn't want to make another scan. Now the machine's working. I don't understand why pressing the start button twice you get that. And then you get number of originals too. I have, I have to read the manual to work that out, but I'm not going to fucking read a manual. So we're not doing a very good job of this piece of uh, stuff. We're now just going to kill it. 
and now we're just going to put it up upside down like that. I just can't understand. Maybe it's because it's too fucking big. Too big. Uh, maybe we're going to make it uh, 350. We're going to just take an extra 20% off. And hopefully this will work better like that. So we're just going to put it up there. And we're just going to do give it another spin. So let's see how changing the enlargement has improved it. Good thing I put a lot of paper in this machine today because otherwise I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to make so many fuck-ups with this one that I'm not going to have much paper left and I just keep fucking this one up like buggery. It's like I'm totally fucking it. Why? What's so fucking hard about this original? I've done originals like this so many times. I just don't see why I keep mistaking, making re repeated fuck-ups of this fucking original. It should be an easy one. I've done these before, or similar size. Now that looks a bit more interesting, though it's not quite what I want. I'm actually wondering if we're going to run with this or whether we're going to try another one. We're going to try another fuck-up. We'll call it a fuck up because it always seems to be fucking up on us the way we're working with this particular type. This particular original just does not seem to be coming off really well. It's just a fuck up after a fuck up after a fuck up. Don't know why this one is not working very well. It feels like there is such thing as luck, but luck doesn't exist. There is a reason why I'm fucking it up, but now I'm thinking, now we're, we've made it and we've found something interesting. We, we haven't got like a full, we don't show the, the full eclipse, it's just an interesting, so maybe this was meant to be. Now that we've got something good, we can now piss this off to the recycle bin and we can now work on something that is usable. So this is usable. Uh, it's not the greatest, but we'll soon find out if we can make it look better. So, what are we going to do with this piece? Um, that's a tough fucking choice. So, what are we going to do with this? Honestly, it's a difficult one. We're going to put it in the A5 area. I don't know how this is going to work folks this is another one of these difficult types of originals so we're just going to check to see how far we are we're going to try and get that chewy mince to be at the edge and we're just going to make the rest of this an a5 so i'm thinking we're just going to overlap this we're going to overlap it even up on the on that ledge for a change so we can get rid of some of the unwanted areas we want to make this look really nice as a mirror so we just straighten it up we're going to enlarge it slightly bigger than an a5 okay so now we're just going to go here and this is a tough choice i didn't have a good look at the original i'm going to try and use my intuition to work this one out so we're going to make this one 145 that way. And this one's going to be 145 as well, I think. We'll soon find out if that's come up nicely. What else are we going to do with this? We're going to go going to we're going to leave maybe leave on the um, negative positive background color we're going to keep it yellow this will be an interesting experiment and let's see if maybe we're going to put the hue in the middle and that'll be it and we're going to see what happens as the old saying goes the experimental phrase see what happens that's what my brother once said when he opened up a 
vitamin capsule. He opened up a capsule and he said he wanted to see what happens if he, you know, he wanted to see what happens. And there were these little grainy little ball shaped things inside it. So I always think of that moment when my brother opened up a capsule or that time when he opened up a fucking capsule and it was really funny. <laughs> anyway, that looks, I don't know if I like it. We don't have a very good much there. So I'm wondering, we've got this nasty looking ugly border. So I don't want the border. <sighs> so I think we just... So I'm wondering where the border came from, where the border is located. It's located on this side. So we didn't enlarge it enough, obviously. Uh, so I'm thinking we're going to enlarge it more. It's, I don't know why the border came out. It looks ugly. So now we're just going to go and make it bigger on the vertical. So the vertical is at 145. So we're going to make the vertical... We're going to punch in, punch in 155, and we're going to leave the horizontal pretty much as is. So now we're just going to print off it again. I'm wondering if any more changes could be made. So wondering, oh, fuck off! I don't want this user. In, I don't like this user interface, folks. It is stupid. It is fucking. Stupid, stupid fucking Conica Minolta. Fuckwits, idiots. So now I'm just trying to think what we're going to do with this. I think we're just going to leave it like that and try the new percentage. This is an already a very prolongated demo. It's starting to get that way. We've done so much work on this, this piece, trying to get a copy that comes out looking good. It's just a real pain in the ass, but I hope you people like my prolongated demos because this is this is prolongated, folks, and we still have that nasty little bit at the edge. Uh, trying to think. This is an ugly looking... This is not the greatest demo I've created. This is quite shit, to be quite honest. Uh, I feel a bit let down so now we're just gonna go why is it showing a fucking big border it's not like it's totally off the edge of a5 i don't get it folks uh i'm gonna do something i'm just gonna have a look at it i've forgotten which way we've put it i'm thinking maybe we can move it across a little bit fuck it we're not gonna have this fucking rubbish uh layout that we've got so i fucked it up so now I'm just going to play with the buttons while I try to correct this thing. We're going to make it much better than this, I'm sure. We just have to be a little intuitive about it. And I'm just wondering if maybe we can change the background colour. I, I think there is just too much fucking yellow. I know I love yellow, all due respect. But we're going magenta. So we're going to do something... A tad different. Oh, now the scanner is starting to squeak here. So it's hard to do it. Just a mixture of a mid-level squeak and a high level and a high pitch squeak. Really dumb. Kind of come and alter dumb. Anyway, there doesn't seem to be much difference colour-wise. Uh, we've moved that down. So we've got to work out now. What's going to be the centre of our job? I think this will be the centre. Even though we don't have enough on the edge. So I'm wondering if we're going to... This is so annoying. So we're going to keep it like that. We're going to keep the word chewy. Because that looks really quite good. So this will be the centre. I'm wondering if we're going to do any more work on it. Or whether this is so difficult. I don't know if this is going to look any good. I mean, it's just not the greatest demo on earth, and I don't feel like I've invested my time in doing a demo that's just not working as well as I'd like it to. Uh, I don't know. It's a bit of a letdown because I've really had plenty of belief that this this was going to work, that this was going to be an easy 
peasy sort of a demo, but not easy peasy, too easy, but fucking easier than this. So I'm wondering now if that's going to stay our centre. I've really found, found this bloody demo is just too fucking long. And sorry, folks, I'm just not happy with the look of this demo, actually. I'm wondering whether I've invested too much into something that just isn't working. <sighs> Fuck. And it doesn't look like much has changed putting the uh, magenta into play. But this demo is way long. I don't feel like I've got my value for the time that I've spent on it. I feel like I've cut corners because I don't think this is looking any good. It's too simple. There's not enough complexity in this piece. Just a little bit here and there and everywhere and somewhere. I'm actually thinking this would be the better centre. We'll soon find out. We might do a, a changeover just to see, just to prove me wrong or right. So let's see how this looks as we've got it. So my intuition was telling me to put to put this part as the center. Maybe the the word chewy um, ties it in. Uh, it, it's not the greatest demo, folks, but it's not the worst either. So now I'm thinking we're going to call this fucker quits.